Hey there. I'm sure you're here to find out how to sync audio files to your waterproof iPod in the new Apple operating system Catalina. So let's get started. First, you'll need to plug in your iPod to your computer, and then locate and double click the iPod icon on your desktop. This will open a new window. On the left side of the window, scroll down to find the iPod shuffle and click on it. You should now be able to see some general information and settings for your iPod. But since we want to add some audio files to the device, let's leave the general tab and click on the music tab. Now let's click on the sync music into iPod shuffle box. You will then have the option to either sync your entire music library or to choose specific songs to add to your iPod. We're going to select the option to choose individual songs and then scroll down. Here you can see four different tabs that organize your music by artist, album, genre, and playlist. For this example, I'm going to click on the album tab and then select an album to sync to my iPod. Now let's move on to the podcast tab. Once again, we're going to click on the sync to iPod shuffle box. And because we don't want all of our podcast episodes on the device, let's uncheck the automatically copy box. Now we can scroll down and our audio files would be sorted by podcast. When we select a specific podcast, the episodes for the podcast will be displayed to the right. Let's choose a podcast and select an episode to add to the iPod and then move on to the audiobook tab. Once again, to add an audiobook to your iPod, you first have to make sure the sync to iPod shuffle box is checked. Then, because we don't want to add our entire library to the device, let's click on the sync selected audiobooks button. Unfortunately, I don't have any audiobooks on file, but if I did, I'd be able to sort through them by book and then select specific chapters to add to the device. Now that we're done selecting all the audio files we want to sync to our iPod, all we have to do is click on apply at the bottom of our screen and then click on the sync and replace button. You should be able to see spinning arrows on the right side of the window, which indicate that the iPod is syncing. When these arrows disappear, the process is done. All that's left to do is click on the eject button here, unplug your iPod, and head for the pool.